Hi friends, welcome back to my channel, SciTech. In today's video, I will to add to the battery guns mobile FPS drop test in the OnePlus Nord device. Yes friends, finally here is a video which you all are looking after. And let's see how much will be the FPS drop during this kind of battery guns mobile gameplay test in the OnePlus Nord device. So in this video, I'll try to include the bootcamp test and uh, other team that match test as well. So let's see how much the FPS will be dropped during this time. And during this time, I'll try to use the real-time floating FPS meter, which is available by default in the OnePlus Nord 2. Yes, by default, you can actually get that. So I did upload a video separately on that particular topic. Try to check the video as you can see. This is a video exactly. So if you don't cannot find the video, try to check the playlist. In the playlist, you can find the videos for the OnePlus Nord 2. So by using this kind of default FPS meter, you can actually see the real-time statistics, how it's behaving, the OnePlus Nord 2. So first, let's go to the settings and let's see what are the options I'm trying to select. Right now, as, as you can see, I'm trying to select smooth and extreme only. So only in this way we'll be able to get 60 FPS obviously. So first let's start with a normal team that match. So then I'll try to show you the bootcamp uh, FPS drop test as well, how much the FPS is dropping in the bootcamp. So this, this is a kind of inclusion of a team that match and the bootcamp. Just for only one to two minutes only I'll try to play the team that match. So just for the sake, let's see what will the FPS and this is a floating FPS meter fence which is fantastic to use in this uh, OnePlus Nord 2 device. Finally you can experience this kind of uh, real time FPS meter without any kind of issues. Which is default. That's fantastic. And even see the CPU and the GP percentage, how much its utilization is. That's another good advantage. So right now we are getting about 59 and 60 consistently. It's maintaining 61. As you can see, 61. 60 FPS, no problem. Let me just slightly increase the volume. So it's a little bit, yep. So now 59 FPS, no problem. Fifteen and FPS, so it was maintaining really great uh, in terms of the FPS meter, no problems at all. The FPS meter seems to be coming in the middle, but just uh, this is just floating FPS meter. So in, in case if you don't like, you can change the position as well wherever you want. That's another advantage is there. Instead of fixed FPS meter, you do have this kind of movable F FPS meter. That's another uh, good thing which you're having in this uh, OnePlus Nord 2 device. That's another advantage which you're having. So let me try to start the game. So 60 FPS. No issue, 60 and 58 FPS I'm trying to maintain as you can see. If you try to tap on that, you will try to even minimize. That's another fantastic thing as you can see friends clearly. So now let me need to go back and start playing another boot camp and I'll try to show you exactly what is happening with the FPS meter as well. Let me go back and yes, let's start the boot camp. Yes. Now we will be able to see the exactly FPS drop, how much it is in this bar. So right now you can see the CPU and the GPU utilization, how much it is, 15 FPS and 60. 59. So I'll try to test another games as well like Genshin Impact and plenty of other games using this inbuilt FPS meter. So you can use this one FPS meter and you can actually enjoy. So real time statistics how you are getting in this phone. So 57 just now it dropped a little bit but not much. This is my first time doing this kind of uh, FPS meter test on the OnePlus Nord 2. So this is the first time, first time I'm trying to do on this phone. Even I am not sure how much the FPS will be dropping to be frank. Because before I was testing on the completely, I did focus only on the POCO F3 uh, GT device. So POCO F3 GT did came, I think uh, dropped up to close to 55 and 57 and during this time of demonstration till now the temperature is 38.6 degrees right now 39.8 just for this kind of I think close to 5 minutes of gaming itself and now let me get to exactly drop in the boot camp to show you the results how it will be there. So this is my first time doing the drop test and uh, even I am excited to see how well this phone will be able to handle this kind of uh, FPS meter test and 1, 2, 3 gets it go yes. So right now we'll be able to see the real time FPS it's getting about 50, 60. You can see the CPU and the GPU utilization how much it is as well during this time of demonstration. 60 FPS not bad. 
59 60 60 and 58 58 is the lowest one 58 is the lowest one it dropped not bad so 58 is the lowest which we did see during the process of demonstration 58 58 as you can see friends exactly so 58 fps we did see the lowest drop in this phone Again, I'll try to do the next time FPS drop test as well, multiple times. So just to see how much it's kind of consistent, it's been inconsistent or not. So right now, it's till now it did not drop much. So again, I'll be back again. I'll try to do the next FPS drop test. Let's see second time how much will be dropping. Same boot camp, multiple times I'm trying to do. So right now, as you can see, friends, this is my second drop test which I'm trying to do exactly in the boot camp. Let's see this time how much the FPS will be maintaining. So before it was, it did maintain really good. So it was, it was close to 58. That's it. So 58 is the lowest one I did see in the OnePlus Nord 2. Not an issue. So let's see the second time how much will be the exact FPS drop. Second time this time. So 60. You can see the CPU and the GPU utilization, how much it is? 58 FPS. 58 and 61. So this time it will be to drop exactly in the middle. Exactly. 58. So 58 FPS. 58 is only one. Nothing. Yes, friends, only 58. I can see actually 56. As you can see, just now it dropped to 56. Not bad. Only 56 is the low, lowest one till now. We did see 59, 59 and 60. Not bad. It was able to maintain 59 and 60. Not bad at all. So for the two times of FPS drop test, we did not see much kind of impact in this phone. In case if you want me to do the multiple times a gameplay test using the drop test, let me know in the comment section below. So out of two times average, I did not see much you know, issues in this phone. And the temperatures during this time of demonstration increased to 40 degrees. Just, just for gaming only, I think close to seven minutes of time. If you look at the time of the video, you can definitely see that 40 degrees it went just for only seven minutes of time. So I'm not sure how much it can actually go through if I try to play the game continuously, but I'll definitely do that kind of video as soon as possible how much the temperature can actually increase in this phone so till now the 40 degrees we did see the proof as well in, in front of camera what is happening on the back side 38.4 degrees as you can see on the back side 10.6 so till now 40 degrees is the highest temperature during this eight minutes of testing in case if you want to download this kind of in, if you want to use this kind of fps meter there's a, a video which i did upload how to enable the fps meter in the one place not to check this video and your doubts will be cleared so thank you for watching and see you in the next video friends i'll see you for more updates meanwhile signing off bye